this question you are asked to integrate dx by 2 plus cos x plus sin x. In this question there are no squares. So here if there are no squares, so what is the technique that we use to solve this? So the technique is we use the formula cos x is equal to 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2 and sin x is equal to 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. So whenever you don't have squares for sin and cos in the denominator, so what we use is cos x is equal to 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2, sin x is equal to 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. So let us see what happens if I use this formula. So dx by 2 plus cos x is 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2 plus 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2 that is equal to so I will take the LCM so integration of this 1 plus tan square x by 2 goes to the top 1 plus tan square x by 2 dx divided by 2 times 1 plus tan square x by 2 this gets multiplied 2 plus 2 tan square x by 2 plus 1 minus tan square x by 2 plus 2 tan x by 2 that is equal integration of 1 plus tan square x by 2 is secant square x by 2 dx divided by 2 tan square x by 2 minus tan square x by 2 is tan square x by 2 plus 2 tan x by 2 plus 3. Now as you can see secant square x by 2 some sort of differentiation of tan x by 2. So let tan x by 2 is equal to t secant square x by 2 into 1 by 2 dx is equal to dt. So secant square x by 2 dx is equal to 2 dt. So this integration becomes 2 dt by t square plus 2t plus 3. So as you can see this has transformed into dx by quadratic. So the integration is very simple integration of dt by so using the method of completion of squares, the denominator can be written as t plus 1 whole square plus root 2 whole square. t square plus 2t plus 1 plus 2 is plus 3. That is equal to 2 times, these are the form dt by t square plus a square. So the integration is 1 by a tan inverse of x by a plus a. So the answer is root 2 times tan inverse of, if you do the back substitution, t is nothing but tan x by 2. So tan x by 2 plus 1 by root 2 plus. So this will be the integration of this integral. So I hope you understand the process when you have sin x and cos x without squares. You use these two formulas and put tan x by 2 is equal to t in the middle and then get the answer.